All right, and welcome everybody here at Twitch chat, everybody on YouTube. We got the new patch. It has been released. Our first balance patch update since the Rising Tides expansion. It is fresh, hot, hot out of the oven. The um, even the Rune Terra. It's this patch 1.2. The Rune Terra site's not quite loading it because a lot of people are trying to get in, or it's still being up to date. But uh, this site, um, out of cards, I guess has it on here and all the things so let's let's check it out um what do we have so you know they give us a little balance uh paragraph um but let's let's take a look at our new cards all right we got a buff to vladimir um so right now you know vladimir just says for each attacking ally deal one to it and one to the enemy nexus um but now it's going to be the new thing right here is going to be deal one to it and drain one from the enemy nexus. So whenever it's doing that damage to the enemy nexus, you are also healing. That's definitely a change that I think is good for Vladimir. That doesn't mean that Vladimir is going to be like see a lot of play or top tier or anything like that. But that's definitely a, a much welcomed upgrade. And as somebody who loves playing Vladimir, um, I am uh, all about that. Uh, link, here you go. Copy, paste. All right, let's see. What do we got for Karma? Karma costs six now? Ooh, okay. So now Karma's going to cost six mana. Okay, so they, they are nerfing Karma a little bit. Goes up to six mana. I'm not sure... You know, I don't think... Like, that doesn't mean that you stop playing Karma. Like, Karma will still see a ton of play and everything like that. But it's just harder to, like... You know, you have to play Karma a turn later, first of all. And it's harder to, like, double spell with Karma. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go throw this up on on YouTube, Scrub Lord, real quick. Um, yeah, so I mean, when you when you are spending six mana, and it's three toughness. It's you know it's harder to have Karma do anything in combat or you know block or you know any, any kind of stuff. It, that's definitely that is certainly a nerf. You know, spending six mana instead of five is is a nerf. But um, yeah, like it's it'll still see a lot of play. <clears throat> so they're buffing Shen, but Shen is just going to go up from 2 power to 3 power. Yeah, like it's... <laughs> Shen's the, like the least played champion, and that's not going to really... Yeah, exactly. Ex exactly here. It, it tends to require you to include Demacia in your deck to shine. How does... I don't know how like boosting the power to 3 is really going to make this card see much more play. Like it could be... Like you can make this 4 power... And it's still, I don't know, like, Shen, um, yeah, like, they could, they could buff up Shen more than that. But yeah, all they did was increase the power by one. We're about to play Shen for our meme tier Monday. Ooh, so they did change Vi. What did they change? Okay, health went down to four. Okay, so it's going to be easier to trade with Vi now. Like, Vi will actually trade with other five drops. If you think of, like, you know, Garen and, uh, uh, Swiftwing Lancer, just these other five drops that are like five mana five fives. Vladimir, um, you know, there's a lot of just generic five five mana cards that have five power. Now they'll actually be able to trade with Vi, with having four health or a Thermogenic Beam at five mana would trade um, same amount. I think that's a good good change. Yeah, basically Vi's been overperforming in multiple decks. Due to a raw strength of baseline stats. Yep. That's ex exactly it. So yeah, the, the health has just been decreased by one. Alright, Hecarim's power has been increased by one. Okay, because yeah, because basically nobody's playing Hecarim anymore. Um, so okay, bumping up Hecarim's attack. So now Hecarim's going to be a 5-5? Five five? That's pretty big. That's a That's a big change. Okay, so so those five champions have been changed. So three buffs, two nerfs. Nerfs to Karma and Vi. And then followers and spells. Great Horn Companion being buffed to be a 5-5 five five now. That is huge. This is this is like a a this is like a sneaky, really important buff here. Making this a 5-5 five five scout. Cause this card's now gonna be like pretty playable on its own. But that is a, I think that's, it says a slight buff. I guess it, it had it here. This is what I was thinking was Remembrance. Think of how many times you get this card off of Remembrance. 
This thing being a 5-5 scout off Remembrance is huge. You could have this on turn three. You know, you don't play anything turn one, turn two, turn three Remembrance. You get a 5-5 scout, you know, attack for twice with a 5-5 on turn three. Dang. That's big. All right, what do we got? Grizzled Ranger. Ooh, Grizzled Ranger's going down to 3-1. Okay, we got Grizzled Rangers now a 3-1. That's... That's a big nerf to Grizzled Ranger. Because, yeah, Grizzled Ranger was real busted. I do like this, how they're already balancing, like, some of the cards from the new set. Like, like these are, you know, a lot of balances to the cards in the new set. Um... Okay, we're reducing Ranger's power and Loyal Badger Bear. So Loyal Badger Bear is also going down to three power. So it's gonna so Badger Bear is gonna be a three four and Grizzled Ranger a three one. So I'll be interesting, you know, obviously that's a very big nerf. It'll be interesting to see how much play it still sees. Probably a lot of play still. Alright, Chevalier is it back? So Chevalier is gonna be a three two. I like it. I like it. Lara Chevalier is a card I really like. Challenger is just a fun mechanic to play. Um, and yeah, you strike, you make a new challenger. Like, Lara Chevalier would go in our Shen deck probably as a 3-2. Um, or, you know, like, you know, I don't know if it'd go over Grizzled Ranger. But, you know, like, it's competing directly, you know, we're, we're speaking about four mana Demacia cards. You're speaking, you're competing directly with Grizzled Ranger and with Vanguard Bannerman. Um, yeah, so there we go, Lara Chevalier. It's a cool card. I'm glad that's that's uh, buffed. So yeah, there's Badger Bear. So Badger Bear is going down to three power. Okay. So three four means like something that like that means that means that like uh, especially with this buff also, but um, a card like uh, Laurent, uh, the other Laurent, the three mana two four challenger gets better with Badger Bear being a three four. Badger Bear has kind of killed that Laurent. Uh, Blade Keeper, maybe? No, not that one. I don't know. What, what, Prodigy? No. Whatever that Laurent card was. Um, uh, it's the 2-4 Challenger. It just matched up so poorly against a 4-4 at the same mana cost. Um, but now with Badger Bear being a 3-4, they would actually kind of trade with each other. So that's important. Yeah, Badger Bear single combat is nerfed, definitely. Yeah, single combat is, like, it's going to be worse a little bit with, with Grizzled Ranger and Badger Bear both. All right, and now Standalone is going to cost four mana. That is big. And, yeah, right here, Standalone leads to undesirable gameplay patterns. It's not a fun deck to play against the Standalone deck. It's just definitely a... a deck that's just trying to high roll going just going all in on one unit see the riot does a really good job like all the stuff that they're saying like with these is, is really exactly true like they did a really good job with these um patches so yeah so it cuts off the ability to go route to have round three just go three drop standalone all right now uh legion rear guard going down to one health going to be a 3-1 that can't block i'm not sure how much you really play this card as a 3-1 that can't block um so yeah rising tides include much more direct nexus damage and so then therefore the burn aggro decks are really powerful so um we saw that round one rear guard often gave decks a significant boost in win rate compared to other cards played on curve that's pretty cool they get to you know that they're checking out that kind of data So yeah, they're saying it's too big for a for just a one drop. Kindly Tavern Keeper going to three power. Okay, so they're trying to buff up the heal thing. So three mana, you get a three three that can heal an ally over Nexus three. That's a big change. Like I think that's a lot more playable of a card being a three three than a two three. That's something I'm a lot more interested in putting in a deck because. 2-3 just you know like when you have two power there's not a whole lot of things with two toughness it's just kind of hard to get this thing to trade uh somewhat well 3-3 three, three, I, I like that i like that a lot more we need to buff up uh Freljord more 
Oh, deep meditation. Are they changing this? Oh, deep meditation is going to cost five mana. Yeah. This card is so good. This is a card that I've been talking about, how it's just a really, really good card. And, and, um, and yeah, so I like this. So I actually like this. I think that it's kind of been too good for the control decks. Um, yeah. So, yeah, it's a deep meditation provided too much overall value at, at its old cost. High redundancy, card advantage, consistent spell casting. Should be a high performer and dedicated spell decks. So it was just doing too much all around. All right, so yeah, so now this is going to be five mana normally or cost three mana. Yeah, that's a that's a big nerf to, to Ionia. I mean, I, I think that this was, was warranted. I think this card was too good. Yeah, Tavern Keeper is a sleeper now. I agree. Especially at the lower ranks where if there's still going to be a whole lot of burn everywhere, Tavern Keeper is really nice. Like, being a 3-3 means it actually kill like it actually trades with crimson like it's good against crimson disciple now like before it wasn't good against crimson disciple it's actually good against crimson disciple now and it's good against uh boom crew rookie because boom crew rookie is now a one three so having a three you know three three is huge boom crew rookie turning into a one three is so is so um such a nerf but it's probably warranted. The thing about two mana, there are so many three twos everywhere. Like three twos are really common two mana um, mana cost. And now all of the three twos get to eat Boom Crew Rookie when you attack with it. This that's going to be such an important thing. Um, you know, you play Boom Crew Rookie on turn two. They play any any of the three twos that there are tons and tons of. And Boom Crew Rookie would die with attacking that. That's a big nerf to Boom Crew Rookie, but I honestly, it's probably it's probably a necessary nerf. But um, yeah, even the yeah the three one tough creature even Brood Awakening. What's changing? Ooh, Brood Awakening's going to six. I think that's I think that's worth it. Um, Brood, Brood Awakening used to cost six originally and it didn't really see any play and then they changed it to five and then it was suddenly everywhere um but yeah i guess yeah uh they realized that and they they said that's why they wanted they wanted to pop to buff the spider decks because they were nerfing a bunch of shadow owl cards mark of the isles crowd favorites frenzied skitterer but in the end, the change overly pushed the raw efficiency of Brood Awakening to the extent that it's become overly potent as a defensive tool in control decks. Yep. Or kill your own unit combo decks. Yep. And they wanted to buff spiders and not really those cards. So it makes com complete sense. I think that's... I think that's uh, just a fine change. Okay. So Longtooth's going to now be a 5-2. So the chum, chum the Waters makes a 5-2 a now. Okay. So this is a spe this is a change especially for Expeditions, where the, the decks have been struggling in Expeditions. Okay. That's fine with me. Chum the Waters can now be played without an enemy unit in play. Wow, you had to have an enemy unit in play before? Because it says like grant an enemy vulnerable and then make make the long tooth. That that's that's important. Yeah, so that's a slight fizz buff. Monkey idol, what are we doing? Yes, health five. Yes. Give me those powder monkeys. As somebody who's played a lot of monkey idol already, I am all about this. Yes. Monkeys. Slot bot. So the power goes to one, health goes to four. All right, looks like next week, meme tier Monday, we're going slot bot. Probably going powder monkey also. But yeah, slot bot gets. So now slot bot ha will have five power and toughness total, being a one four before, you know, instead of three total. Like that's, that's a big deal. You know, that's a big difference. That's, you know, an additional 67% power and toughness. Um, you know, stats before it starts shuffling them up. 
All right, so then the things that are on the watch list. Unyielding Spirit. Pilfer Goods and Card Stealing. Yep, yep. Nexus Damage and Rising Tides. So Plunder, Noxion, Siege, Weapons, etc. I don't... Yeah, I don't, I don't know about this. I don't know if that... Yeah, Karma and Ezreal still. Okay, because Karma and Ezreal were part of the watch list before. They were like the only two things on the last watch list. See, does is this patch working now? No, it's not. But uh, here is this link right here. Okay, now rule text clarity. Okay. Um, these are the same rule text they have before, but I guess rules text on the following cards updated for clarity. Okay. So they don't have the updated thing right now on, on here on this site, but, but just like they'll be updated in game on Wednesday. Super mega death rocket. All right. So, uh, we got a new rainbow Poro Guardian, so just another Poro, just change colors, make it rainbow. Um, okay, so purchase the bundle for zero. Okay, so this is available for free until July 7th. So those y'all watching until July 7th. Wow, that's a long ways away. It's We're in May. Okay, so it's for the next month, just go here, just buy this um, for free, get a rainbow Poro. And you get, and you get like a arcade rainbow poro board uh, okay and uh this arcade card back all right so so i guess like this board the card back and the poro are free as far as i know and then these we got four new emotes for purchase yes a timo emote yes timo emote the praying for the card draw for drawing the puff caps. Wow, that's such a great emote. I love it. That's a great emote. All right, and then some changes to the expedition archetypes. That, you know, you, you'll be able to read through. Um... Any Vi no longer counts? Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. Bilgewater home screen background now in there. Okay. All right, cool. So there we go. So there's that's the changes. So it looks like we've changed. So we're changing 10, um, 10 followers and five champions. Overall, honestly, really good changes. They're doing a great job of this. I, I like the Karma and Vi nerfs. I like the I like this Vlad buff a ton. Um, they definitely should buff Shen. This I, I don't know if that's really much of a buff though. Um, and the Hecarim buff's actually kind of good too. I, I, there's not really ephemeral, like it's not really possible to play ephemerals right now successfully. And so hopefully that can kind of help out some ephemerals. We'll, we'll be playing some, some Hecarim with the new thing. Um, I like the, the Demacia changes. I like those. I, I like this. Um, I think the Boom Crew rookie change makes a whole lot of sense. I'm a little sad about it. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll kind of see how it plays. Um, I, I kind of am sad that Boom Crew Rookie is going to die to three twos and not trade with three twos. Um, like, I kind of wish it was like a two three that dealt one damage instead of a one three that dealt two damage. Um, I like this Deep Meditation change a bunch. I really like this Tavern Keeper change. I wish they would kind of buff Freljord just in general. Like, this is the only Freljord card that changed was the Kindly Tavern Keeper. And it got buffed I like that. And I love the Monkey Idol and the Slotbot buffs. Um, all right, so there we go. <clears throat> all right, uh, 
that's it here for patch one two um so the the patch is announced now this is monday um tuesday oh i think i think it's on here the schedule so if, if you if you don't know about the schedule here we go so this is like when it's being announced so in 24 hours from now on tuesday they'll deploy the changes in the client but we won't see them um but you'll be able to like update it on pc and everything but then on Wednesday at this time at around um, 10 p.m. Pacific, that's whenever the there'll be an, a new data only update that will enable the new changes. So that's when the new changes will go into effect and you'll actually have the new changes on uh, in the game. So today, tomorrow, we won't have the changes, but they'll actually be in the game on Wednesday. And then they're changing um, you know, them all together right then. All right, uh, perfect, so there we go. Um, those of y'all watching on YouTube, send me those comments, let's go. Let me know what you think of all these changes. Um, what, you know, what do you, what do you wish they changed that they didn't? Did they change anything too, too much? Any changes you don't like? Any ones that you love? What are you excited to play after these changes? What do you want me to play right away after these changes? That's the most, that's you know probably the most important thing. What do you wanna see? on the channel uh, for me playing Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all that kind of stuff with these new changes. All right, let me know over there. All right, thank you so much for watching this uh, patch update live reaction though, and I'll see you for the next video.